The secret to staying motivated throughout CS50 and throughout your learning to code journey is to make progress. I know this is kind of hard to hear, especially when you might be stuck on an assignment. Feeling stuck is one of the hardest things in life that a person can deal with. We could deal with a lot of things. There are a lot of difficult things in life and we can get through all of them, but nothing puts you down. Nothing brings the morale down more than feeling stuck. Now, I would say out of all the things that I've done in life recently, one of the harder things that I've done has been to learn how to code. I mean, I went from knowing nothing to eventually knowing enough to be able to get a job and I'm still learning. Things are always changing. There's always something new to learn. So in this video, I wanna give you a couple of tips that I used to stay motivated and that ultimately got me through CS50, which is hands down one of the best courses online to learn how to code. However, it is also one of the harder courses. Tip number one is to make progress. So as long as you're making progress in your journey, you're gonna feel good about yourself. You're gonna be motivated to continue learning. Now I understand I can just tell you to, oh, just make progress and everything will be okay. I understand many times you can put 20 hours into something and make zero progress. That's when tip number two comes in. You need to believe in yourself. You need to believe in yourself, especially when times are hard, especially when you're not making any progress, especially when you've spent two or three days on one assignment and you still don't understand anything. You maybe even have to watch a lecture again. You maybe even have to try the homework from the start again. And so you delete all the progress that you've already made. Please know that when these things happen, they're happening for a reason. They're happening for you to understand and to grow. They're happening for you to understand better. So believe in yourself. Believe that you have what it takes in order to learn how to code. Don't tell yourself that you're too weak. Don't tell yourself, you know, if I had learned this in school or if I had a friend that's helping me, then I would be able to figure things out. No. There's no such thing as I need other external things in order to help me get through life. No, you already have what it takes. You already have your brain. You already have your willpower. That's all it takes. Believe in yourself. Don't make excuses. Don't say that you don't know enough math. Don't say that you don't know enough English. Just believe in yourself that you have everything that it takes. Everything's gonna be okay and you're gonna make progress. Now, this personally is what kept me going. There were many days where I was stuck in an assignment for a couple of days, I couldn't figure it out. I never thought to quit though. I never thought, you know what, I'm just gonna quit. I took a break, maybe I'll take a day off. Maybe I will watch the lecture again. I'll even delete the assignment and start from scratch again. But ultimately, I would say that my success in being able to finish the course was definitely believing in myself, believing that I can do it, even though I didn't have, quote unquote, all the tools that I needed in order to complete the course, I still convinced myself that I could do it and ultimately I was able to finish the course. Okay, so let's say that you have a healthy self-esteem. Don't go now and watch the success of other people. Don't go now on YouTube and watch all these random YouTubers that are going around saying that they finished CS50, you know, in, in two weeks. Don't, don't, don't go around and compare yourself to a computer science student in college. Everyone in life has their place and their own struggle in life. And the only person that you need to be comparing yourself to is yourself, to how you were maybe a week ago, a month ago, six months ago. And if you notice that today you're in a better position than you were six months ago, then you should be proud of yourself. And if you notice that today things are a lot worse than they were six months ago, and perhaps you can attribute a couple of bad decisions that you have made in the last six months that have brought you to where you are today. Now you know what you need to work on. Tip number four, that's putting in the work. You need to make sure that you're putting at least two hours of coding per day. Now I say at least because I believe anything less than that is not significant enough. And I think that if you only put two hours of work, let's say you only have two hours a day, that should be enough time for you to make consistent daily progress towards success. And that brings me to tip number five, which is take breaks. Again, 
don't spend all day coding set the two or three hours per day just be serious about sitting and trying to understand what's going on with the code trying to implement the code and after that just go out and take a break go take a walk go eat something don't become so obsessed with success and i have to learn and i have to get it done and i have to get it done your goal should not be to make progress it should be you know my obsession is that i'm concentrating on this i'm concentrating on this and i'm taking it seriously and i know deep inside that something good will come out of this yes it's hard yes maybe i'm not necessarily making any progress but but deep inside i believe that i will make progress and that i will understand and things will get better the last tip for this video have other things in your life if you're younger and you don't have much going on in your life and you want to spend eight hours a day coding 10 hours a day i'm going to be very honest with you i think that's unhealthy i don't think that's a normal thing to do think about it mankind has lived on this earth for thousands of years and only recently does a person sit all day in front of a desk trying to get work done. So I don't think it's good for our bodies. I don't think it's good for us psychologically. I think that we are still trying to figure out what a healthy relationship with technology should look like. I do really believe that that is one of the main missions of our generation. We're definitely the first generation that is taking on technology full time. And we have to figure out what is a healthy relationship with technology. So I personally don't think that sitting and coding for eight hours a day, just when you're getting started, again, maybe when you get a job you're going to be coding eight hours a day but you're doing it as part of a team and it's like a team effort you're in an office or even if you're working from home you have a team that you're reporting with so there's some type of you know you have like a, a group that's trying to achieve a goal it's not the same thing as a single person in front of his computer all day i don't think that's a healthy thing and my tip here really is you know you need to have other things outside of coding if you're young go find yourself hobbies go do sports go do other things if you're maybe a little older your family so you know go spend time with your family or go do projects with your kids or maybe have a job maybe have other things going on don't make your sole focus day to day on coding because you're gonna get burned out very quickly